Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris Face Shave Time. I've just done my head shave using the same products and I'm going to be doing my face shave with the exact same Ariana and Evans Kaizen base. This is a fantastic soap base and if you watch my head shave, which I know a lot of people don't, you'll see how easy it makes a great lather and you don't need to load it too heavy. So let's fill up the bowl and get shaving. I'm just going to pop a little bit water on because I've got no water soaking in the soap anymore so while that's doing its thing I'm just going to get the brush up which is this Frank Shaving hang on a minute just let me just take this off my you can't see but I can see it Frank Shaving metal handle I don't know whether this is aluminium or steel I don't quite know but the mirrored finish on it is immaculate there's not a striation there's not a mark on it it's just a beautiful made little brush really is. I don't know how big the knot is. I think it's 22mm. I think it might be a similar knot to the one that is in the other Frank shaving brush, but it's a slightly different shape. This is more bulb. The other one's like a hybrid bulb fan. This is definitely bulby and it's got a bit of backbone, but when I did it on my head shave, there wasn't much backbone, just lovely soft tips and a little bit of scrub. So really, this could be quite good for people with sensitive skin. So let's load it up. Just going to dip it in the water because it's far too dry. And again, That's it, I'm not going to get any more because that was a very, very quick load. That was less than 10 seconds. Just rinse the soap out. Fucking hell, that water's roasting up. Oh, I've had a new boiler installed in the house. The boiler died on us about a month ago. So we spent about three days with cold water showers waiting on my mate to come and sort it. He works full time as a, a plumbing lecturer, plumbing gas fitting lecturer at a college or something. So I had to wait on him coming to, he's my, he's my go-to plumber, but I've got to wait for him. But he always looks after us. So Kaizen, now this is a, this is a daily shave. I'm just interested to see how this little handle, because it is a tiny little handle, copes with creating a, a voluminous ladder and not getting too slippy because if you get this handle slippy it's going to be really slippy because there's no grip, there's no knurling, there's no striations on it, there's nothing to, to hold on to. I'm just dipping the tips. It's got a sort of creamy colour, this soap. Does it makes my teeth look a little bit whiter than, than white, white soap does. Turn this light on, see if it makes any difference. I don't know. I think it did. It's quite a cloudy day today. We've had a lot of rain yesterday. We're due a lot of rain for the rest of the week, I think. Now notoriously, my ladder technique doesn't work too well with natural hair brushes. On the odd occasion you get one it does work with, so I'm going to try it with this brush. I think we need just one more dip and we'll be there. There we go. So you can see it's translucent all over. You can see through most of the soap to my face. There's nothing on the handle yet. Whoa, this feels really nice. This feels really nice, this knot. I was not expecting it to feel that good. Now it's obviously, yeah, here we go. Now, now the fun begins. I just need to dry this handle off now because if I don't, it's going to end up flying out of my hands and landing on the floor. I wasn't expecting this not to be so nice. It's got lovely scrub. Now I've shaved yesterday so I was expecting it to be a little bit too scrubby for me and too rough. But it's the exact opposite, it feels fantastic. And as you can see, the Ariana and Evans, Kaizen, it's gone all over the handle again. Now you could probably 
load the brush, oh sorry, squeeze more of the water out of the brush and try and just load it into the tips. But I wanted to load this the way I normally do it, so that's twice now I've had to go and dry the handle off. Ah, and here we go again. This is why little tiny handles like this and nice knots, nice big chunky knots that create fantastic ladders don't go well together. This knot's amazing. I've obviously used rhodium knots, Morrison Fondren, Sterling, not Sterling, Simpson. This is this is a really nice knot. You can see it's just pummeling a ladder out. I've had to wipe the handle three times, I'm gonna to have to wipe it again now because it's getting covered again. Some people wouldn't mind getting it covered in the silk, but I don't know. It just annoys me. This ladder's fantastic. You can see, it's, it doesn't look like much. That little bit there, this silk's so slick. It's like ice. It's like, I can't, you can't physically. It's just so slippy now. It's a shame really, it is a shame because this, I like the handle, I like the look of it without using it. It's great for a head shave because all the water, when you're lathering for a head shave, is going that way. Generally it's, that's how you lather on your head. As soon as you invert it that way, the correct way up to your face and your neck. Man, this lather is just off the charts, it's so good. Now you saw that I didn't, I didn't load it a lot. That being said, it's not a it's not a really messy knot. It's not like it's, it's just a little bit of water in the base of the knot. Maybe I need to just learn how to get the best out of the knot without having so much water in the base of it. Because really, it's doing a really good job of keeping the, the ladder in a usable position. Now the, the the knot bump is just about there, so the ladder can't really go much lower than that. Gonna dip the tips now and paint this. And again. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the sheen on it. That is a truly fantastic ladder. And as you can see, the knot has done really well at holding the ladder in a usable position. So that the knot is full of ladder. You can see the little gloss on it. It's fantastically dense. But the handle, since all the water seems to have come out of the base of the knot and it's dripped on the handle and I've wiped it off, it has certainly seemed to have stopped leaking now. I may have to just give this to my son so that I can sort of keep using it. This is a really nice knot. I'm really impressed with the knot. I'm impressed with the, the ladder it creates. That's, that's a stupendous ladder, even by my standards. Anyway, the carve, Christopher Bradley razor, as always. As always. There is other things coming into the den. So we'll see what, what comes of those. And here we go. B plate, Paul Silver, Super Radio, once again, less than 24, well, probably about 24 hours growth.
So it's one of the sort of pet peeves of the car of Christopher Bradder is the way the sort of ladder stuck to the handle, which is unusual, but it just sort of falls off the bottom, sort of scoops around the bottom of the safety bar. Like that. It doesn't flow through much, it just sort of sticks around the bottom of it. it to the side. I will just add a little bit of moisture, I don't normally, but oh, it's just, the scent, scent strength's amazing. For a citrus scented silk, it's like a, it's a good seven. And it's pleasant, it's not, it's not like a citronella type citrus, it's quite, quite fruity. It's a little bit more complex than just a, you know, just a satsuma or an orange or a, a lemon or whatever, but just scoop that on there, you can see a nice shaped little knot there. Let's see what we can get out of this. On the second ladder. Oh. So what I've tried to do there is actually use up the lather and the knot. The sort of usable lather. So you see the knot now is sort of bare on the outside. It's all contained in it. To see how it goes with the third lather. Across the green. the Manchester United game last night against the Melbourne Victory. Bit of a shaky start. They ran out 4-1 in the end. Eric Bailly after having a great first game had a bit of a, a bit of a dodgy second game but he still came up with the goods and you know he gives you a bit of pace at the back and that's really especially in the Premier League it's gonna really benefit him. He just has to be better on the ball and, and you know more efficient with it as well. Here we go. So this is the third ladder with this lovely little knot and it is a really nice knot. It's got lovely soft tips. Have a little bit of moisture and see what happens. I think that's pretty good. You know, it's, it's never for me going to create as good a lather as a synthetic brush. But it's a damn good knot. And Frank shaving. I'm making really nice brushes out of that factory this, definitely. I'm assuming it's a factory, I don't actually quite know. But the knots alone, this, this knot is worthy of being in, in your shaving routine, definitely. I think so anyway. I do like badger knots, I never used to, but I do like them now. Having sampled some of the best in the world. These are so cheap. And yet, the very high quality knots, very well put together.
next week, uh, 20, I think it's next week, 24th, we shall be, 23rd, 23rd, <laughs> we shall be heading over to the, up the stadium in Perth, to watch Man United take on Aston Villa. Should be really, really exciting for the boys. Exciting for me as well. I haven't seen them play for a very, very long time. Life. I wasn't here when they came to Australia last time because I was living it up in Canada. And there we have it. And that. There's another couple of fantastic shaves under my belt. I was expecting a lot of blood and irritation today. But what I ended up with was two very nice comfortable shaves, a little bit of irritation over here, and everything else. Pretty much my usual, so I cannot grumble. I'm just going to rinse this brush out now. Very easy to rinse out, very similar to the other Frank shaving badge or not. Doesn't take a lot of work, doesn't take a lot of water, which is in Australia, especially worse in Australia. Quite a precious commodity. Right, let us finish off now with some Moyle Grooming Frankenline Frosted version. This one I've used actually quite a lot of, I think it's down about there in the bottle. I've been in touch with Sean recently in the last couple of days and hopefully, a bit of blood there, hopefully get some of his new scents over here eventually when they start releasing. So one, two, three splashes for the coconut. What a scent. Now this is obviously citrus being lime. It has menthol in there as well. The scent's phenomenal. Oh, that cooling menthol. I haven't really thought this through. Because I've literally just rubbed it all over my eyelids. <laughs> God, that's cold. I haven't used a good, good mentholated product for a long time. What a fantastic shave. I'm really happy with that. So that was Ariana and Evans Kaizen. Which looks like that once it's rinsed out. The soap doesn't shrink. This has been sat in my drawer for ages. It's stayed the exact same size. It's stuck to the sides of the bowl. It hasn't shrunk at all. So it's obviously not got a high, I would imagine, water content to moisture content, so it's not evaporating away in the tub, which is very, very good. The brush, well, I'm actually quite surprised by it. So, yeah, I mean, I think that looks fantastic. I think it's a lovely looking little brush. I think it's something just sat on a shelf. It looks great. I wasn't too sure about how it would perform. The knot is exceptional. It's a really, really quality knot. It shaves a bit. It lathers beautifully, it feels really nice on the head and the face. There's not a whole lot of like scritch, there's no scritch or scratch. The scrub is just right for me. I've got quite sensitive skin on my neck, so for me to be able to just sort of after a third pass start lathering up on my neck again, it's got to be soft enough. And it is. The handle is for a head shave perfect. For a face shave, it gets a little bit messy. Not too messy, but it gets a little bit messy. Now, 
If you can control the amount of moisture in the base of the knot, make sure you flick enough out and load it to the tips. The knot holds the usable ladder very well without it seeping down the sides, which is quite impressive really. I mean, in comparison to this, obviously this knot is massive compared to this one. The handle's easier to hold because it's a bit chunkier, but there's still no grip. Now this is a very messy knot. A lot of lather seeps through the sides, down here, comes down all over the handle and everything. I don't tend to moan about it too much because I love the knot. This is quite similar. It doesn't really make too much mess on the handle, but the knot feels fantastic. It's a really nice knot. You can maybe just see some of the hairs on the sides here. They're sort of hooked. Get little hooks on them. My eyes are watering like crazy from this menthol. So yeah, really impressed. It's very comfortable to hold. I thought it'd be uncomfortable being small. It ticks all the boxes. It really does. I might have to force my son to pick this one and send the other two out in the giveaway. Let's say the giveaway will be happening soon. I may have some other things coming in that I'm going to attach into this giveaway. It's going to be a reasonable sized one and there will be a separate giveaway as part of it as well coming from the States. And that will all be revealed whenever it happens. The razor for today was the car of Christopher Bradley with the B plate, once again 0.73 blade gap and the Paul Silver Super Radio. My eyes are absolutely working all over the place here. I'm glad I don't have my contact lenses in yet. And finished off today with Moyle Grooming Frankenlime, Frosted Frankenlime. Now there is the ingredients list. This stuff is fantastic. Very, very small amount. You know, they're not, it's not the cheapest of products. But it's a very small, I say the cheapest, I didn't pay for any of these four. These were all sent to me from Sean when he first started this company. And I'm forever thankful to him for it. It took, for, it took an attorney to get here. It's got great stuff in it. It's great for sensitive skin. The scents, especially the lime, lime's just absolutely beautiful. Helioptaris is like a, a fougia, but it's really strong and pungent. It's, it's a bit unique, it's a very unique scent. And the other ones, Marlow Wood and Wildflowers, they're just, they're all great scents for what they are. They're very sort of simple scents. There's nothing majorly different about them. But it's the, it's that post shave. It just feels incredible. And especially on top of Kaizen, it's, you're not going to get much of a better post shave than that. And anyway, we were here for that. And I think it performed very, very well. And I'm really happy with it. Frank Shaving, I think they're on, I think it's AliExpress, I'm not 100% sure, I think they have a website as well, but I think it's linked to AliExpress, don't quote me on it. I'll pop the link down below anyway, you can head on over there, I don't get anything from you buying anything from Frank Shaving. I'm not even generally the biggest person for pushing Chinese companies, but you really, you can't, in between that, that, and that, don't really make a bad product and um, yeah it's coming from China but everyone's got to eat haven't they this one I'm not looking forward to using I think this is just going to be too much for me but I'm sure there'll be someone out there that will like a good scrubby synthetic that's got heaps of backbone there always is people out there that want heaps of backbone and that will certainly provide that and it will be in the giveaway but this little thing here surprised me works really really well it smells fantastic now and you guys stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive. I'll catch you next time. Cheers.